Hey everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. Today, I'm going to show you the new Soul. It is by Intec RV. It's the larger version of the Luna that you saw earlier this year. It's 19 feet long, weighs about 3,400 pounds, and you can expect to pay, my guess is between 26 and 29,000 for it. So before we get started, let me remind you that if you'd like to see more walkthroughs from Princess Craft RV, just subscribe to our channel and you'll be notified every time we put out a new walkthrough. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I notice when I walk in here is how light and bright it is. They have wonderful light gray walls, some taupe on the dinette, lots of windows, beautiful lighting, just gorgeous. Now the first thing you're gonna see is gonna be this wonderful wraparound dinette. It is so spacious. And of course, this large piece of glass in the front. Now this is a three-ply automotive windshield just like you have on your car, so it's extremely durable. They do make a cover that you can put over it when you're traveling, so that's gonna help protect it as well. This open seating is very spacious to sit in. I love the curves on the base of the seat, make it easy to slide in. Now you might've noticed, this is a little different shape of a table. So if you turn it this way, it actually is the shape of the seating opening underneath. And no, you don't use this to make your bed. We'll show you that in just a bit. But I really like it turned the opposite direction. It's very stable, it's not real wobbly, but turned the other direction, it makes a nice opening to slide into the dinette. Very easy to move around behind it. I like the deep seating too. Um, you've got, for people who are taller than I am, sit somebody who's six foot will not be cramped sitting in this dinette. That's such a great feature. I, I would imagine you could fit four or five, maybe even six people around this table. Let's take a look at the other features that make it feel so open. We've got windows on both sides that open, so you've got ventilation coming through here. You can see they have lighted cabinet openings above, little shelving on the sides. Stereo speakers across the front, reading lights on each corner, and I love these white laminate cabinets. They give it such a nice look. Now, if you open this up, you'll see there's plenty of space in here, maybe eight to 10 inches deep, quite a bit of space. It's hard to tell in this lighting, I bet, but this is a carpeted top and sides, not on the bottom. And over here on this side, this is the cushion that actually makes the bed. Now we'll show you in just a few minutes how that works. You can see there's an LED strip underneath it. When you put the cabinets down, right now with all the lights on, it might be a little hard to see, but if you're maybe in a darker campsite and you didn't have every light in here lit up, this is a nice recessed lighting behind this cabinetry. It looks beautiful. There is a pull down shade if you want a privacy to cover this windshield and it just comes straight down and then you give it a tug down and it rolls right back up again. The side windows have pleated shades. Now these pleated shades have a day night feature on them. So it comes down for day and it is a, it's a beautiful kind of a gray woven fabric. Now the sun will shine through that, but you have the second one which is going to be a blackout shade. This second one is going to give you a complete blackout from the outside, and that is all the way around, except for the windshield with the roll down shade. So there's also some storage in here that we haven't talked about, and it is underneath this seating, you remove the top cushion and the seat cushion, pull this flap open, 
and you can see that there is a space down here for storage. Now, if you go to the other side, which is across from the entrance door, you lift the back cushion off, remove the seat cushion, you have the same compartment to lift open, but you'll see in there, that's the battery compartment. There is some space around it, but it's really not intended for storage. Okay, now there isn't any storage under the center seating near the front of the trailer. That's because that's your propane compartment that you access from the front. All right, now let's look at how you make a bed. Okay, so we've made this dinette into a bed, and you'll see there's this cushion piece that was up here in the cabinet that we put down in the center. And the way it works is there is two little tabs on it. Let me show you. Two little tabs on the end that just rest here on the edge of the seats. I was a little worried that it might be a little wobbly, but we actually, uh, you know, tried to figure out how stable this is, and it works really well. So uh, this is a very tight fit in here, and the measurements, if you start at the edge of this cushion, and then go to where this curve starts, you're right at 36 inches. It didn't seem fair for us to count the curve underneath the windshield. So realistically, you're 36 inches wide and 80 inches long. So nice bed for one person, probably not two unless they're really small children. Okay, so let me show you how it works and how you put the table back in. This piece simply slides out. You can see it has the tabs on both sides. And I'm just gonna set this over here for a second. Then you take the pole. Now the pole is not the standard just press in pole that tends to wobble. Can you see that it's got a notch in it? And you fit the notch down into the base. And then you simply screw this pole down so it's tight. It really gives a very tight, very secure fit here. See how tight and stable that is? Then the table is very simple to put back on. I always just put one hand here so I can feel where the post goes, line up the post, and drop it back on. There you go, very stable table. It's a good time to also point out that I love how this swivels around because you can turn the table just a little bit. There you go, drops all the way down. And then you can access these cabinets very easily and then turn the table right back. So very nice feature. I think it makes a good sleeping area. It's easy to work with. Let's move over to the side and look at some of the appliances right next to this dinette. So we took the table out to show you the appliance center on the corner and I just wanted to take a second to show you what this looks like without a table. I just love the feel of this. It's very open, it's very comfortable, very conversational, just a great place to gather, to visit, to relax. So uh, lots of options here with the table and without the table. Let's look over here now. At the top, there is a stainless steel front microwave. If you open it, there's the turntable that hasn't been unpacked yet. But underneath, there's a shelf, it's about six inches deep and great for a place to put keys or, mic or your cell phone, anything else that you just wanna set up here. Uh, underneath is the Jensen Stereo. It's an AM, FM, DVD, and a Bluetooth. So it'll do anything you need it to do. There are two speakers on the front wall and two speakers on the back wall. So you could play both together or one or the other. The control center here We'll show you your batteries, your fresh water, and your black water. Now this trailer is equipped with a 30 gallon fresh tank and a 28 gallon black tank. The black tank holds the black water and the gray water together, similar to say the small airstreams that you see. It, it saves on space and you'll notice also there is a water heater here for the tank. See the tank heater right here? That heats your black water tank because it's underneath the trailer. The fresh water tank is underneath the bed. So if you're camping 
and you have your furnace going, your fresh water is going to stay warm and you have a tank heater for your black tank. Great system, works fabulous on this small trailer. Underneath you've also got your water pump, that tank heater that we were just talking about. The water heater is gas and electric, so you have a switch for either one. They do light up blue, as you notice there, every time you turn them on, so you won't forget that you have something turned on. Let's go over to the side here, if we can, and show you the charging center and the regular household plug. You've got the 110 plug on the side, but also the USBs and the 12 volt next to it. So if you're sitting at the dinette, or if you have your cell phone up on this ledge and you want to charge it, you've got access to any plugs that you need. This is a battery disconnect switch. If you turn it a quarter turn, it is actually going to disconnect your battery just as if you took the cables off of it. A lot of little LED indicator lights in here and a few other things that can drain your battery when you're in storage. So it's an easy thing to do to disconnect your battery so that it lasts longer. The converter has a, a very easy front to it that's going to have fuses and breakers. Now, of course, your converter is going to be what takes the shore power and turns it into 12 volt. Everything on this trailer, as in most trailers, runs on 12 volt, except for the microwave and the air conditioner. It's going to run on 12 volt or it's going to run on propane or a combination of both. So this is a very important piece of equipment and I love the way that it's very accessible up here. Let's take a look at the refrigerator. It is a three-way. You have two shelves on the door. There's a crisper drawer underneath and a pull-down freezer. All right. Underneath that, Intech has built in a storage drawer. You don't want to waste any space on a smaller trailer. So you've got a nice storage drawer underneath the refrigerator. And then down below, this is a 16,000 BTU forced air furnace. Keep you nice and toasty in the winter. And while we're down here, let's take a look at this infinity woven floor. This flooring is just beautiful. And it's got a woven texture to it, gives it a very high-end look. That's because this is a very popular choice in the high-end marine industry. Why? Well, water doesn't bother it, dirt, mud doesn't bother it, and it really is easy to clean. So I love this flooring. I think it just gives it a beautiful look. And uh, I, I think the worries that people have about tracking in dirt, um, it's just gonna melt away because I've actually wiped up this floor and it's really simple. So let's move on and take a look at the kitchen. So this is a gorgeous kitchen. Let's start on the side of the cabinet here with the light switches. As you walk in the door, the first two light switches are for the porch light and the light across the front that I'll show you in just a bit. The next one is the dinette accent light that's underneath the cabinets on the very front of the trailer. The next switch is going to be the blue lighting inside the cubbies above the windows at the dinette. The next one is going to be the ceiling lights in the main cabin. So you've got uh, all these different opportunities to turn on the lights that work for you for whatever activity you're doing in here. There's also the reading lights on the front. Now they have switches right on those lights, uh, but these are going to access all the rest of them. This last one that isn't lit up. It is the bedroom lighting, and you can see that it turns on and off the lights that are directly above the bed. The reason it doesn't light up is because there is a second switch for those same lights over in the bed area. I'll show you that in just a second. All right, let's get started on the kitchen. The kitchen accent light is right up here on the wall. It, of course, is this LED strip right underneath the cabinets shines right down on the kitchen area and it brightens up this whole area when you're working in the kitchen. The cabinets, I would say they're about six inches deep, plenty of space. I love the soft clothes on these cabinets. They are, it is one continuous space up there. It's not separated into two cabinets, even though you have two separate doors. 
big window behind the kitchen makes it feel really big. I love the 110 plug right here in case you have appliances you're working with. Very easy to access in the kitchen. This glass top is above your stove, so when you're not using it, you have a flat surface to work on, creates a countertop feel. The corner right here is cut so you can slip your finger in there and open this up. It's got an iron grate on the top, and of course, you turn it to light, hit the sparker, and it's going to light automatically. To close the top, you have to lift it up and drop it down, and then you have your flat countertop surface again. Next to that, I love this farm style sink, but they have a unique cover over it because it actually can be used as a dish drainer, it can be used kind of as a countertop, and when you're needing the sink access, this just rolls up and gets out of your way. Now this is a very large stainless steel sink. I love this faucet here because you just pull it down and you've got a sprayer that can move anywhere. That can actually get out of your way so you can do dishes, clean the sink, whatever you need to do. And then just pulls down and goes right back into place. You do have a touch here that's going to give you two different kinds of spray and a single handle on it. The brushed aluminum is just gorgeous. This is very simple to put back. When you're done with the sink, you can lay this right here, roll it out, and you're ready to go. All right, let's look at the storage underneath. You have a bank of four drawers underneath the stove. The top one is really thin. I'm assuming most people would put silverware here. Right now it's got remotes and things like that just for setting up the trailer. Again, they're soft closed drawers. You've got two deeper ones underneath. You can see they've got that wonderful soft close and I love the bar stainless steel handle. The bottom drawer is actually deeper. Great for pots and pans, some of the larger items that you'd be storing. And the cabinet under here is very open, so you could set this up with shelves. You could fit a full-size trash can in there. All kinds of storage space. Okay. So let's look at the controls on the right side of the window. The top one is for the air conditioner in the furnace. You set it on the AC or the furnace mode, and then, of course, adjust the temperature on the right. Underneath that is the controls for the max air vent that's over my head. It's like a fantastic fan. Um, it's a big power fan that's going to pull the air out, create a breeze in here. But the best thing is you don't have to reach up and mess with all the controls over your head. It's very automatic. It has four speeds. When you push the on button, it not only opens the lid, but turns it on the first speed. You can raise the fan speeds by pushing the button again. And then it goes down to fan speed one. There is an off button, so if I say yeah, I'm done, I'd like to turn it off. You push that button. It not only turns the fan off, but it closes it as well. Now let's say you just wanted to open the vent, but you didn't want the fan on at all. You just wanted the vent open. Then on the right, you do have that option to just open the vent and close the vent automatically. It's just such a cool feature and it makes that fan so easy to operate. It also has a rain sensor on it so that if it starts to rain, the vent is open or operating, either one, it's gonna shut itself down and close. Great feature to have. And the last thing in the kitchen is gonna be this side table. You do have a countertop extension that opens up it can be used as part of your kitchen, or I think it also can be great as a table next to the bed where you can put your book, your glasses, anything like that. So very easy to use. To put it down, there is actually a little finger hook underneath. You just give it a pull and it folds right down. Simple to use. All right, so that is this fabulous kitchen. I love the way it's compact, it's small, it's stylish. I think I would really enjoy camping, having this nice kitchen, uh, even though it is not, you know, 10 feet of the trailer. All right, so let's move into the bedroom area. 
Okay, so now in the bed area, first thing I want to show you is going to be the drawer. There is a small drawer that comes out from under the bed. Now you could use this for the kitchen too also, but slides out under the bed. Now there is a panel underneath here in the center that opens up. Remember your fresh water tank, your water heater, your water pump is all under here, but there isn't any other storage under there. It is only access. So not something you're going to have to get to very often. Underneath this drawer is going to be the LP detector. It's always close to the floor because the LP is heavier and drops down to the floor area. So that's where you're going to notice it first. But let's move up and take a look at the 32 inch television. Now this is locked against the wall for travel, but if you wanted to swivel it out so that you could see it in the dinette, you give it a pull back here on this cord and that disconnects it. Let's see. There you go. Slide it out and swivel it around so you can see it from the other side. If you wanted to put it back against the wall, I like to uh, pull this to one side to kind of get that started. And then you just pull it right back into place and it snaps right in. Did you hear that snap in? Now it's locked in for travel. So you don't have to worry about it moving around. You don't have to put a strap on it. Works great. The little cubby above here has the blue light, just like the ones in the front cabinet. And there is a little bit of a lip on here so that things that you put up there are going to stay in place. All right. Now moving forward, there is storage across the front. There's three cabinets right up here with the white laminate front on them. Now these are separate cabinets. When you open them up, they do have walls between them. So each one is its only separate storage space. And of course has the soft close feature of everything in this trailer. Let's take a look over here in the front corner. On this corner, there's going to be a shelf for ah, books, yeah, glasses, coffee cup, whatever you need to set up there. The speaker from the stereo. This is the reading lights that you'll find in all four corners of this trailer. And the way they work is that if you touch it quickly, it turns blue for a nice low light. If you hold it down, it's a bright white. So you have two options with these reading lights in each corner. Remember the light panel that we saw at the end of the kitchen by the entrance door? There is a bedroom light switch at the entrance, and then there was another one right here to easily turn it on and off when you're in the bedroom area. And it operates just these two lights right above us. Okay, now underneath there's a 110 plug. This plug actually is on each side, so each side's gonna have a 110 plug. But if you look over here on the other side, you'll see that there's a charging station as well. And it's got two USB ports and a 12 volt plug. All three of these windows are going to have the day night shades like we saw in the dinette. And coming around to the side, there is a shirt closet. You've got the same white laminate cabinet front. It's about six, seven inches deep. And there is a bar at the top for hanging clothes. Now you could always put shelves in there or whatever works for you. Next to that cabinet is going to be the smoke detector, of course, for safety. This bedroom feels so light and open with the three windows. It'll just be great when you're out camping. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Okay, so the next thing we'll look at is the bathroom here. It's got the beautiful white acrylic exterior, the curved wall. Let's take a look inside. I love the mirror on the door. The storage pockets on the back wall and the towel hangers right there. Can we get a shot of the lighted vent fan on the roof? Now that's going to vent the air out of the bathroom. It's got a beautiful silver wall on the back. It gives it a real classy look. But let's move around. The shower head is adjustable up and down so you can change the height of it or just have it as a handheld. And the porcelain toilet makes it feel much more residential, easy to clean, last for years. So this is a very spacious bathroom. It's larger than you'll find in almost any trailer this size. So now that we've checked out the inside, let's go look at the outside. 
Okay, stepping outside, I love the large handle to grab onto and the light right above the step. It's great at night, so you don't miss a step here going in and out of your trailer. And let's take a look over here at the door catch. This is something kind of new. It's a magnetic catch here, so all you do is open the door and it's actually locked into place. Easy to pull off and simply close. The gel gloss exterior gives this such a great modern classy look. It has the black powder coated fender with the clearance light on the top, 15 inch tires, aluminum wheels, and a Dexter torsion axle. All right, let's move past that. This is the outside shower piece. It actually clips in here, it's got a quick connect. And when you actually undo this hose, it slides right over it for storage. But it's great for cleaning a grill, for washing the dog, whatever you might need an outside spray port for. Now, back here at the rear of the trailer, this is one of the options. Now, there's three options on this trailer. One is going to be the Thule awning that I'll show you in just a minute. The next is going to be the outdoor kitchen with the grill on it. The third option is adding the refrigerator on it. Now, this refrigerator could be easily be just an ice chest that you add on here, but if you wanted the refrigerator, it has a temperature control on the back that will allow you to turn it into a freezer as well. It's whatever temperature you set it at. You unclip it right here, which locks it down for storage. It opens from the front. And inside, you've got a deep basket here and then a shallow one in the back. So a great option. Again, the three options on this trailer, the awning, the outside kitchen, and the additional Dometic refrigerator. All right, let's look at the rest of the kitchen. There is a, an area back here with a basket for storage, maybe silverware, whatever utensils you might be using. And then this grill, it's actually a heavy griddle with a knob on the front where you light it, turn it on and off, and have a grease trap in the front also for catching anything that might run down the grease trap on the top of the griddle plate. The entire kitchen slides in and out by simply pushing these two bars and then locks into place inside the cabinet. At the interior wall of this uh, compartment, there is a 110 plug and a 12 volt plug for this kitchen. So if you had a soul without this outdoor kitchen, it could be added. So that's a nice thing to know. Um, also, if you don't have this outdoor kitchen, this entire space will just be storage. Now this grill actually has a gas line that plugs in right here on this outside gas port. If you didn't have the outside kitchen as an option on the sole, then this port could be used with any grill that you set up outside. So uh, this is not your only option. You can work with any grill and have that outside propane access. Let's move around the back of the trailer. I love the double lights on each side, the LED tail lights, the little sole mirrored logo. This is gonna be the window at the back of the bedroom. And it's easy back here to see your two stabilizer jacks on the back. Now this trailer has stabilizer jacks on all four corners. It does have a two inch receiver right here in case you wanted to put a bike rack on there or an extra storage tray. And you can also see the spare tire under there. All right, let's move around to this side of the trailer. Okay, so coming around the driver's side of the trailer, there is a rear compartment. It does have a lock on one side and a catch on the other. I love that when you open this, it's got the magnetic catch on the top. So it's just so easy. Look at how deep this cabinet is. I'm really impressed with the space in here. It, it's just a lot of storage for a trailer this small. Uh, the crank handle here is gonna be for your stabilizer jacks. This one right here is for the awning that we'll show you in a minute. Very easy to open and close. Next to that, the water heater. Now remember this water heater is under the bed, but it's a gas and electric. And the two switches are actually 
by the refrigerator, so you have no need to access out here except for maintenance or repair. The water panel has got an opening here to fill the fresh water tank. Next to that is the city water fill. Now that's where if you want to run directly from the hydrant into the city water fill and have all of your water come directly from the hydrant to the faucet. All right. These two connections, the top one is going to be for a solar panel. So if you have a portable solar panel, you'll put that out in the sun and then plug it in right here and it's going to charge your battery. If you're at a park that has cable connection, you just hook up the cable right here and you've got cable TV. This is the shore power connection. It has a collar on it that connects it to the actual trailer so that it stays really stable and doesn't get pulled out. It's about 25 feet long. Okay, so on the front, you've got the two vents for the refrigerator and then the venting for the furnace underneath. This will be your dump valves underneath that with a pull handle, very easy access. And in front, a vent for the battery that's located, remember, underneath the dinette on this side. Up front, beautiful fiberglass front cap. I love this beautiful wraparound windshield. You've got the blue lights on the top. Now, the quality in this is just amazing. It is an aluminum cage frame, and that's evident on the triple tube tongue. I love to see the aluminum. You can look underneath and actually see the quality built into this trailer. This piece is covering your uh, propane tank in the front. It's really easy to get to. You push the center of this pin to disconnect the panel, and then this panel comes out. It is a five gallon, 20 pound propane tank, and very simple to put this back on. You set this right on top of those two um, panels, and then this just pops right back into place like that. Very simple to use. There's a hand crank on the front. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how the awning works. First thing you wanna do, grab this handle, Loosen the little black collar, extend it as long as you need, and then tighten it down. This fits right into the awning, and then you crank the awning out. So you notice I didn't extend the awning out all the way. I like to leave these arms bent just a little bit. I think it supports the awning and it makes it so that they don't bind up when they're perfectly straight. Easier when you put it away. So the arms are stored at the end of the awning. This little silver clip at the end, if you just pull that out, the leg is loose. You just lift it out of the rail and swivel it a quarter turn and it easily can hang down straight. Now to extend the leg and make it a little bit longer, there's a, can you see the little plastic tab right here that you lift up? Then this leg can extend. When you get at the height that you want, you push the tab up. Now that is not what you think needs to happen. It ought to be flush, but when it's flush, there's no tension on it. So Push it up, it's gonna be a little hard to do the first time or two, but that's how it holds the leg in place. And then I'll just come right over here and do the other one. Lift the tab here, bring the leg out. Open up this tab right here, which allows the leg to lengthen. And then Flip this tab up. Now the sole does not have the brackets on the camper to hook the legs into. They need to come down straight into the ground, but this gives you such a great awning here. Now to put this away, you just do the exact opposite of what we just showed you, and it takes three or four minutes, and you can put your awning away. So thanks for watching. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. Remember, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more walkthroughs. And thanks for watching.